Well, let me let me go with this. Welcome. It's a flat earth nation. Don't ever let them tell you anything else. What I want to show you here are some fossils, some rocks, something that Roger Spur has already proved through DNA facts. There were giants in the land and I'm about to just help him confirm it. That's all I wanted to do. My contribution is that the gold and the veins and what I'm going to call the Hughes matrix that we live in. So a lot of people would call this a wedge, you artifact hunters. But it's not. It's where muscle comes down and meets the bone. It doesn't take much as you can imagine to get out of Gray's Anatomy book and start plotting out where these things match up and where they don't. And realize it's just the color of uh, the rock that is the difference. Crystals, gold, all the elements come from the veins. A rock that's been cleaned that you'll be able to tell that this was a heart and this was a crystal. I'm going to clean this one and show you and then I'm going to work them down. I'm going to forensic the stones. This was another one, a very symbolic reminder that, you know, when God says metaphorically your hearts can be changed from stone to flesh. And you don't know, <clears throat> you're going to just say that's a clean rock, you're going to say that's a more clean rock, and I'm going to tell you that's just like Roger Spur said, part of a giant. It, took, it didn't take me long to come up with what you need to look at as major breakpoints on these skulls, and you're going to find them on the skull, breaking by the ear, there's going. To, you're going to see a lot of exposed Etruscan tubes, uh, cochillas, I think they're called. The thalamus looks just like it, just a little bit bigger. This is the matrix. If you guys have gone online yet and Googled uranium on matrix raw or any variation of that, you'll be able to see that they all have the three matrices of the brain, the different three levels of the hardness of your brain matter, your gray and white soft tissues. Uh, like I said, you're going to look for break points. They're, they're on your ears and you can match up all of the one, two, threes. You know, you just, you know, it just takes time because they're all there and they all match up and they all have these break points that I'll be showing you more of. You might wonder, you know, say, oh wow, it, they kind of do look like hearts and, you know, I guess uh, there could be some valves there or something if you use your imagination. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, there's breakpoints and they break everywhere and they're the same. And you can uh, disprove me, maybe, I don't know how, but you can't just dismiss me and say that I'm not on to something here with Roger and that when I'm adding to the fact that what they say is money, do you see that in there? That's muscle tissue and that's either, you know, that's a black diamond or brown diamond, but, and then there's another diamond behind it. But for me, they might call it onyx, but only for a fellow mason will they call it the black diamond and get the high price because that's how they keep the money going. some sort of a burl. This is the bone uh, my dog found in the yard today. 
This is the skull that got me tipped off that I'm going to, I've said before, name this the Skiba in honor of Ron Skiba, who convinced me through the Bible, which I believe, that the giants were super huge. And so I had to prove it. <clears throat> this is a good example of the breaking points of when you're going to look for the Vachilla or the Thalmus. This is going to be a big, probably again for me, an onyx maybe, uh, gemstone, what they call a display one, where I'll get it out and I'll buff it up. I can take that all the way down and I can show you how it's attached and it hooks back up and around to here just like the hyperthalamus which I think this is a smaller this is a this was a big guy okay they used to go crazy for this stuff in Colorado and now you can take it over to the dinosaur museum in Fruta and they'll tell you there are no dinosaurs near Palisade where I live they used to go crazy for this molly beetle now look at this uh, you see that structuring That's going to be very important if any of you guys are diligent enough to look it up on your images and start looking for, you know, look up uranium raw on matrix, look up opal raw on matrix, look up diamond raw on matrix. Okay, now we're getting to another meat, meat fossil in the Hughes matrix. That's a meat fossil but it could also be your three layers that was my example of uh, of how they can be big or how they can be small this one here is exactly a replica of this one and what I plan on doing and what I can do is I'll match this up with the Gray's Anatomy and just like I was going to forensic uh, a body, of which I will be doing, and I showed in another video how I, how I did it, I'll be doing it to these two and predicting what's underneath it. And, and back to the, the, the break points. The one Russian guy, the shill, who said all the petrified trees why do they all just look cut and dropped in place? There's those, and why are all the plateaus so flat on the top? Lies, just a blatant lie that I had to look at and live with every day, but until I could come up with the proof. Do you see that break point? Do you see that break point? Do you see if this broke off here, this is gone now, what that would look like? Now, it, and of course the Skiba has it to a certain degree too. These, this, these smaller ones, it doesn't matter. All the breakpoints are the same on your same size. Now I want you to prepare yourself. First get a good look at that. And that guy is telling you that all plateaus are flat on the top and they don't break off and they do if it's like a little tree, oh la la la. No. All your breakpoints are the same, but sometimes they break off and sometimes they don't. Now I've told you where I live. Now look at this. Not getting a good focus on that, but you can you can see, and So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear you know what you're talking about when I'm in this position for a reason. Wake up out of your fantasy world. The Hughes Matrix is real. You're living in it. It's a flat earth nation. Don't ever let them tell you anything else.